What's up, traders? It's Mark at Dino Trading. Today is the kind of day that I think every day trader dreams of, right? Where you're just sitting around waiting for a trend to show up and kaboom! A nice trend change starts at exactly 9.14 a.m. Let's get into today's recap, folks. What you're seeing on the screen is today's chart of the S&P 500. If you trade Forex, your symbol is SPX 500. If you trade futures, your symbol is ES. And if you trade stocks and options, your symbol is SPY, the SPY. And what you're seeing overlaid onto the chart is this green and red color band. This is known as the volume indicator. It has one job and only one job on a daily basis. And its job is to identify trend changes. You know and I know that there's nothing more important, nothing more important than the ability to isolate and identify a trend change. All right. So there were actually two trend changes today, right? I mean, it's pretty obvious. If I take this to the left here, you can see this was the first trend change of the day. But the reason this might have been tough is because, I mean, look at the time. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I don't know how many of you guys are up at 5.30 in the morning. I am not, right? I like to limit my trading to the regular morning session. And for me, this was it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, guys, this was this was just the best signal that I can recall in a very, very long time. Guys, how many of you can ever recall any period in your lifetime outside of Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns, which some of you might be too young to remember, but in recent history, have you ever seen any market move like this? Have you ever seen any setups be so clean and organized and, for lack of a better word, easy, right? 9.14 a.m., the vol turns red. What do you do after that? Well, let's zoom in and I'm going to show you what I like to do, okay? Let me go ahead and get rid of this yellow box here. You guys see this arrow here? This is the exact moment in time that the trend changes from bullish into bearish. Step one, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you wait for this bar to close. This is what's called the signal bar. Makes sense? Then the open of the next bar, which is actually this bar here, all right? This bar's open. Is the moment in time where you think about potentially opening a short trade. Make sense? You got to wait for the signal bar to close. That's your reference point, okay? Guys, without a reference point, you got to realize you're flying blind without any type of reference point. You might as well be trading your garbage Japanese candlesticks or your pathetic Bollinger Bands, right? You got to have a really nice reference point and this volume indicator tells you there's no effort that you have to put in. Just watch for the color change. And once you decide to go short or open up a short trade, I'm going to show you, let me get this out of the way here. I'm going to show you where to place your stop. All right. A logical area on where to place your stop would be one second. Let me get that line going here. You'd want to place your stop a couple of ticks or a couple of pips if you're trading Forex above the signal bar makes sense that's a logical area on where to place your stop and folks you can see how this market played out today from the entry to the close this was approximately 500 ticks okay and if you do the math on this just on one contract i don't think it's terribly hard for you math geniuses out there 500 ticks at approximately $10 a tick or $10 a pip. Folks, that's a potential $5,000 trade just on one contract. I'm not even talking about people trading two contracts, four contracts. Have a couple of customers who are trading 10 contracts. All right, folks. So you ain't going to tell me that volume doesn't work. All right. Volume is the only thing that worked. We basically had one signal today, 9.14 a.m. If you missed this signal today, then shame on you, 
Okay, folks, this is a really exciting time to be in the day trading game, especially if you're either new to trading or a trading beginner, or even if you're just debating should you get into the trading game, you ain't never going to see a market environment that we're having like we are right now. It's unbelievable, and you got to take advantage while it's there to be taken, right? So take advantage of this volatility, guys. For everyone that's been on the sidelines, you are missing out. I love that all you guys who were using the vault today killed it on the S&P and all the other markets, the NAS, gold, everything was on fire today. It was like taking candy from a baby, all right? So once again, if you've been on the sidelines, it's time to get your butt off the sidelines and get involved. For everybody else, let's hope and pray that we get another day like we did today in the market, and we'll see you on the next trade. Guys, that'll do it for this video. If you'd like to get your hands on this powerful volume indicator, then get in touch, call, text, email, whatever's convenient, and I'd be happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo, really show you how this volume indicator is going to supercharge your trading. Guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next trade.